Hi guys, so good to meet those who love physics and math. Good call you Mr. Ryan and today let's talk about simple word problems. So main difficulty when we start learning this kind of topic is how to change the words into the equations. How to switch text content into algebraic content. Here we have the sum of three consecutive numbers is equal to 267. What are those numbers? We are asked. We do not know any of them, okay? And many students usually say, basically, I just start picking them up. And step by step, I found these numbers like uh, 7, 8, and 9. But sometimes it would take a great amount of time and you won't like it. That's fine. What we could do, if we don't know anything about those numbers, we could just assign letter X for some of them, okay? Let's say that number one is equal to X. Number one or first number is equal to X. Let first number be equal to X. Now we have something to start with, okay? First number is X. It's good. Second number, since they are consecutive. Consecutive means they're going after one, one after another, yeah? 1, 2, 3, or 11, 12, 13, or 27, 28, 29, so forth. Means each next number is one unit greater than the previous number, previous one. So second would be X plus 2, obviously. Uh, X plus 1, and third would be X plus 2. Here they are, x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. Three consecutive numbers. What we are told about them, that their sum is equal to 267. Well, let's just try their sum. x is the first, plus x plus 1 is the second, plus x plus 2 is the third. What is the sum? 257. 257. Cool. Now let's look at the like terms. Like terms are like this, x, x, and x. And other like terms are just numbers, 1 and 2. If we group them and add them up, what we'll get? 3x's means 3x, three three, or 3 times x, plus 1 plus 2 is 3, is equal to 267. Our final desire is to write x is equal to just x, nothing else. But here we have 3x and have 3 as um, addition. Starting from addition and subtraction, we are better get rid of those numbers on the left-hand side, on the side of x. Okay? Here we <clears throat> would do subtraction. 3 minus 3 would be equal to 0. And we'll get rid of 3 on the left-hand side. But by the rule of the equations, it should be done on both sides, from both sides minus 3 as well here. And after that, we'll have much simpler equation, which is 3x is equal to 267 minus 3 is 264. Cool. Now we have already something to deal with almost finally. We have to get rid of 3 as factor, as a factor. Since x is multiplied by 3, but we need to get 1 instead of 3 as a factor, we better uh, divide it, simply speaking. But again, by the rule of the equations, if we do something for the left-hand side, we should do the same thing to the right-hand side. So we divide right-hand side by 3 as well. On the left-hand side, those 3 would be cancelled out. On the right-hand side, it would remain. Well, let's write like this. x is equal to 264. Let me write just divided by 3, okay? If we accurately calculate, it would be 88, simply speaking. 88. We could, could, of course, check if it's correct or not. So if 88 we write as 80 plus 8, and multiply it by 3, means each number we multiply by 3, yeah? I have written it in this kind of shape because it's easier to multiply 80 by 3 and 8 by 3 than to multiply right away 88. Of course, I could do long multiplication in column, but 
this is better. 80 times 3, I know it's uh, 24 to 40. 8 times 3 is 24. And eventually we have exactly 264. Correct. Now, we know that first number is 88, but we are asked to find those numbers, means all of them. Okay. First, second, and third. Okay. We know that second number is one unit greater means it's just x plus 1. x plus 1 would be equal to 88 plus 1, 89. Cool. And third number is x plus 2. x plus 2 is 2 units greater than 88 and is equal to 90. Okay, great. Now we have all those numbers. The numbers are as follows. The numbers are 88, 89, and 90. If you add them up, you'll see the sum is equal to 267. It means we did everything correctly. This is the answer to our problem. So main difficulty is to make a step from a text, from words, to the equation, to the algebraic language. But we have even to do smaller steps, to think of what is x, something that is unknown. Basically, it doesn't matter which number to assign as x, just carefully we could assign all other ones by the rule which we have in the task, in the problem. We could say basically that the um, third number could be x, or y, let's see. If third number is y, then second number would be y minus 1, and for, uh, first number would be y minus 2. It's also possible to do, but we chose another way. It's okay. It's totally okay. Everything works. At this point, I would like to finalize. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you have suggestions about some topics, what to talk about, I would be pleased to hear from you. And I wish you all the best in your studies and in your whole life. See you and bye.